Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Philip Wilborn. I'm a Chartered Environmental Surveyor, although it's not where I started from. I was just an ordinary general practice surveyor about 40 odd years ago when I uh, qualified um, in Sheffield, uh, working for what was then the Midland Bank, now HSBC, having previously been a student at Sheffield Poly, called Sheffield Hallam University. And my role as a Chartered Environmental Surveyor is to look at the impacts of environmental issues on all forms of real estate. Getting on the first rung of the ladder is quite difficult. Now I understand the challenges, but distinctiveness is really important. How do you stand out? I've read a lot of covering letters. I've read a lot of CVs. And if you put them into uh, on the table and lay them out, they all look the same. They all sound the same. It's almost as though they've been cut and paste and uh, a, a template form from one to the other. Now, what is gonna make you stand out? I think it's showing ambition, showing an empathy with the employer, understanding who the employer is that you're applying for the position with, and looking different in some way. Now, one of the things that uh, I would, I always suggest that people include in their covering letters is that getting qualified is just simply the gateway to lifelong learning. It doesn't stop. You continue to do it. You have to do CPD, but you, if you want to really get on, and have a distinctive standout career in real estate in whatever guise that may be, you've got to enter that, that pantheon of lifelong learning, which isn't just about, oh, I've got my degree, that's it, it's all over. No, it isn't, it's just the start. Delighted uh, over the last uh, 12 months to be uh, a mentor to Molly Lockett, a, a final year student uh, at the university. And um, part of my role, I found this is much to be an ear or a, 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 a recourse to so someone to talk to in the profession that she can bounce ideas off. Um, that I can actually challenge her gently and encourage her gently into certain areas without being dictatorial or um, imposing um, a way of doing things. It's about self-learning and self-consciousness. Um, it's very easy to get a myopic view of your CV, a myopic view of uh, where you want to be in the longer term. My role is to broaden you out, to sit you back and look at the bigger landscape and say, well, you know, there is a, what about this? Have you thought of that? Um, could you say this better? Could you say this in a fewer words um, and be more effective? In, and again, helping the, uh, the, the candidates and students to think differently about their career and where they're going to go with it. So if I can help students in some small way uh, find a pathway to their career, I think it's important and incumbent that I do that as a responsible professional. I want surveyors to enjoy a long and fruitful career. I have, I've been very, very fortunate. Um, but you know, it's up to it's up to you all to grasp those opportunities and to and to run with them. And if I can help point you in the right directions, then I will do so.